one of the best things that you can have and be prepared for in uh, to to fight against an overdose and to possibly save someone in your community, maybe someone in your family, maybe your own child, is to have a naloxone rescue kit and know how to use it. Uh, naloxone uh, comes in very, you know, many, many di there's many different manufacturers now. Uh, there's Narcan, which is naloxone. There's Cloxado, which no is naloxone. There's generic versions now, too, which is also nasal naloxone, which is manufactured by uh, another company. Um, they're all the same. They will all look just like this. They'll be in a foil packet like this, in this with this nasal sprayer. And so having these in your home and knowing how to use it and not being afraid to use it, being empowered to use it is very, very important. The only way you can hurt someone is not to use it. So this is, uh, a, we at Texas A&M, this is a Texas A&M naloxone rescue kit, and it has the opioid overdose prevention action plan on here. Very simple steps. Number one, try to figure out if the person's unresponsive. When we talk about a person can't be woken up, so they, they will not wake up. And you might uh, do some kind of stimulus, like, like a sternal rub. You might do that. Uh, you could shout at them, but you cannot get them to wake up. Uh, that is a sign that they could be experiencing an overdose. So immediately you want to call 911. Then you want to get the naloxone out of the kit. It's super easy. I have these all over my house. <laughs> so, and um, you're going to open up the foil packet. Very simple. There's no cap. You don't have to shake it. It's all ready to go. There's nothing on here that you have to do. You're just going to stick it up the victim's nose. It doesn't matter which nostril. You're going to stick it up the, the victim's nose, and you're going to put your thumb on the plunger, and that's it. That's a tenth of a milliliter of fluid. That's the easiest way to save somebody's life, just like that. Now, after you do that, you can do rescue breaths. So it's about one breath every five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. If naloxone is going to work, it'll work within about one to three minutes. If after you wait maybe one to two minutes after giving the first dose, then what you're going to do is give them the second dose. Doesn't matter which nostril, same nostril, different nostril, doesn't matter. So you give them the second dose. EMS is hopefully on their way by now. And what you're looking for is from, for the person to start breathing again. The way that you die from an opioid overdose is hypoxia. You are not breathing, so you don't exchange oxygen. And your brain will start to die from lack of oxygen. Just like drowning, just like strangulation, just like having a pillow put over your face, you can't exchange oxygen, so your brain is going to die. So this will start a person breathing again. This is the only thing that will work. Uh, you, so you, CPR will not exchange, cause them to start exchanging oxygen. They will not get enough oxygen. Even if they were intubated, this still would not be enough. So this drug ha will actually replace the opioid in the receptors in their brain, and they will start to breathe again. So this is really important to have on hand. Just like if you had a child with an allergy to nuts or something like that, you would have an EpiPen and know how to use it to save their lives. If you have a child that's high school age or college age, you should have this on hand because they are at risk uh, just because they are who they are and they go to parties and things.